Hello people, what up? I'm gonna make a video about full injection and more specifically the oxygen sensor. The operation of the engine of modern cars is electronically controlled by a processing unit which receives information from a set of sensors and comparing these data to standards stored in memory it is able to tell actuators how to act full injection is controlled by this processing unit which receives data from oxygen sensors about the concentration of residual oxygen in the exhaust gases. The objective is to have optimum ratio between consumption and power and the least amount of pollutants coming out of the exhaust pipe. This ideal condition happens when there is 14.7 parts of air to each part of gasoline in a cylinder. When this happens, all oxygen combines with carbon to build carbon dioxide instead of carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a lot more pollutant than carbon dioxide. The lambda sensor is made of a screen of zircon ceramic which is able to let oxygen ions to flow through. One part, the tip, which resembles a fingertip, is in touch with the exhaust gases and the back side is in touch with the air outside the engine. Both sides have electrodes which will collect the voltage that builds when oxygen ions move from where it's higher in concentration to where it's lower. This voltage generated by this electrochemical process varies under normal operation from 100 millivolts to 900 millivolts. It can vary depending on the manufacturer if the voltage is less than 550 millivolts, the mixture was lean and there was little difference between the concentration of air inside the pipe and outside. If the voltage is greater than 550 millivolts, the mixture was rich and there was great difference between the oxygen inside and outside of the exhaust gases. A detail about its operation is that it needs to be heated up to more than 300 degrees Celsius to properly function and allow then the flow of oxygen ions through the zircon ceramic. Sensor malfunction can be caused by carbon buildup on the ceramic which closes the pores and blocks the ions from migrating. Resistance burning quits the flow of current and thus the sensor will not reach temperatures above 300 degrees Celsius and will not function properly. If the sensor is not working as wanted, the emission, emission of pollutants will be higher than under normal operation. Engine efficiency and torque will be decreased and catalyst life will also be decreased.